What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, this is Andy Braidbill with TarverAcademy.com, and I want to show you how to auto grade your Google Forms quizzes. The first thing you have to do before you can even start making it a quiz is you got to turn on that form as a quiz. To do that, you go up here to your settings, then you click on it, and then up here you see your general settings, your presentation settings, and then you want to go to quizzes. You've got to turn that on before you can even make it to where it can auto grade. Um, then you would just make sure you have selected the things you actually want. Um, you can tell them they're great immediately after they finish, or you can not tell them at all. If you want to like put other stuff with it or say the short answer that you didn't get automa graded, automatically graded, you can save it. Um, then you can also tell them which questions they missed, and then you can also show them the correct answers. That's totally up to you. I would recommend if you're going to show it to more classes after that, then you do not show them the correct answers because then they just like screenshot and they show their buddy and make 10 bucks. So. so you've got your questions in here. You've created some multiple choice questions and you've created some check boxes. Okay, and you want it to have a grace, which is like three questions to kind of summarize your lesson and you want to make sure everybody's got the right answers. So um, first off, they have to be multiple choice or check boxes for you to be able to auto grade it. So we go in there. You find out what it is and you look around You're like oh, okay those are my options so if you want to make it to where it'll grade automatically you have to go down here where it says answer key if you don't see that it's because you have not selected that question once you select it then you can see it also remember it has to be multiple choice or checkbox if you do that to a short answer you won't be able to do that okay you have to look at some add-ons for auto grading okay so click answer key Okay, it's gonna change. It looks similar, but it's gonna change some things. First, you gotta pick the amount of points. Let's say I want this worth ten points. This one question. And then I have to pick the correct answer, um, Peach. And then that's it. You've got it. Now let me show you something else that's cool. It's called Add Answer Feedback, and this is gonna be based on you, they put the correct answer and incorrect answer. So for correct answers, I can say it'll tell them. Great John, not great John. Well, let's make it say great John Ham. Great John Ham. Okay. And then if they get it incorrect, say um, you need to see better colors. Okay. And then I can even add a link to something I want to see. So let's say I go here to Google search. I want to say uh, the color peach. Okay. Images. And then I could just take this right here. Um, then I could just copy the link that it's on, copy link address. And now, whenever they get it wrong, it'll take them to text display. I don't want to display any text. So I click add, boom, and they'll have the link. It's safe. Okay? You can do the same thing. Like, who's your favorite basketball player? Um, this is, there is a correct answer to this. I make it an answer key. It's obviously Steph. Those are all great players, except for LeBum. And yeah, I did spell his name wrong, but don't get offended. This is the way it is. Some things will never change. All right, let's say I'm good, and I can add feedback for correct answers. It's going to say, wow, good job. I already had that in there because it was from a previous thing. And then let's say I do, um, who is from Harry Potter? Now, this is different because this is checkboxes. I still want to do an answer key. And I want to select all that apply. Ron is, Gandalf's not, Dumbledore is, Susan Bones is. Hmm, hope you didn't get that wrong. And then Goku is, and he's from Dragon Ball Z. Okay, answer feedback. And then I can say incorrect answers. They need to just like watch, um, watch all of this. And then I would just say, you're going to have to go to YouTube and watch. Um, I'm sure there's a video of every Harry Potter character. And boom, top 25 Harry Potter characters. I copy the link. And then I go to here. I make them watch all this. I could even say text display 25 HP characters. Add that. Boom. It'll take them straight to it. All right. That's it. You got it. That's how you create um, auto grading forms. Man, it's beautiful. Oh, I didn't change the points. The last one's going to be worth 30 points. Okay, thanks again, and best of luck to you in the future, mate. Good luck. Bye-bye. The end.